Hi, I'm Joseph. This is a quick demo of Pufferlib, a reinforcement learning library that lets you train agents at millions of steps per second on a single GPU. Here, we're training our version of Breakout from scratch for 75 million steps at just over 3 million steps per second. Pufferlib gives you this little local dashboard where you can monitor losses, as well as performance in a number of different categories and environment-specific metrics. In just a few moments, this will finish training and run a small additional evaluation so we can be sure that we have an accurate estimate of the overall score. There it goes. And now this is finished, and we can load up the model, and we can watch it play the game. And if we were to watch this for long enough, we would see that it plays pretty much the entire game, clears the first screen of bricks consistently, and finishes all or maybe all but one or two bricks in the final screen. But Pufferlib is not just about simple environments. Here in this demo, we trained an agent on 12,000 years worth of online data, that's 640 billion observations, or over a petabyte of compressed observations. More like six or seven petabytes uncompressed. This is done on a single server, which is a tiny box with 64090s. To give you a little bit of context about this task, this environment is Neural MMO3. It is a follow-up to the environment that I spent my entire PhD developing, and this particular instance of it has a thousand agents running around a large, procedurally generated map, collecting resources, fighting enemies, using tools, equipment, armor, weapons, consumables, and even trading with each other on a global market. I made this game, and these agents are better at it than I am. My original goal when developing Pufferlib, uh, at the start at least, was really just to push the field towards more complex and interesting environments by default. I spent thousands of hours on early versions of Neural MMO throughout my PhD, and really I was just trying to put hundreds or even thousands of agents into different types of environments with different dynamics, different mechanics, to see what sorts of emergent behaviors we could get. Other folks were also looking at more complex and interesting environments, and one of my personal favorites is NetHack, which is this 70s terminal-based ASCII dungeon crawler. Uh, the visuals really don't do it justice. This is a monstrously complex task, orders of magnitude harder than anything that is used in academic research. Now, the problem with more complex tasks, usually, is that they don't play nice with existing reinforcement learning libraries. Both Neural MMO and NetHack have individual libraries, several of them at this point, devoted to just single environment research, just Neural MMO or just NetHack. That's not great for science in general because you'd like to be able to try or experiment with your new algorithms on multiple different environments. And also these, these uh, libraries tend to be a little bit harder to use as well. So the first thing I did with Pufferlib was to make general purpose compatibility wrappers that you can put on just about any sort of complex environment, single line to apply them, and now you can use these environments with CleanRL, SP3, whatever simple or libraries that you're used to uh, without having to have special purpose tools. With that solved, the next major bottleneck became multiprocessing, vectorization. This is always slow in RL, but it's even slower on many of these complex tasks. NetHack was particularly bad where the most commonly used vectorization implementation literally doesn't even make it any faster with one core versus 16 cores or more. So what I did here was to rewrite the whole vectorization layer from scratch with native multi-agent support, which is great for neural MMO and some other environments, uh, as well as just a ton of optimizations that specifically help with more complex environments, but also just help with environments overall. Uh, and by way of evidence here, this table is actually a fair bit outdated. It's even faster now. We have vectorization at millions of steps per second. And in all of our own work, where our environments are even faster, this is just never a bottleneck anymore. This is something we just never almost have to think about. Okay, so we have compatible environments and fast multiprocessing. Now it makes sense to actually make the environments fast since we're no longer bottlenecked by these other things. This is the point of Puffer Ocean, which is our first party library of 25 plus fast environments written in C. Most of them run at millions of steps per second on a single CPU core. You can play these environments live at Puffer.ai or watch our models playing them. And if you take a look at the different tasks we have available, there's some simple classics like Cart Pole, there are a bunch of arcade games in there, there are board games, there's a card game, there are also many agent environments with hundreds or thousands of agents, there are a few agent multi-agent environments with team-based play, there's miniature MOBA, there's Neural MMO, there's a top-down 2D physics shooter, a puzzle game, we even have some control tasks in drone flying and autonomous driving. And we're merging in new environments all the time and adding to the breadth of environments that we have. And this has really just been a great resource for us in our own research 
because we can train most of these in seconds or at most minutes. And really, it's only the top few most complex ones that take longer than that. But it's still about 100 times faster than if we were trying to work with them outside of Pufferlib. There's a little bit of a problem with the conference cycle uh, in that I submitted this project as Pufferlib 2.0. But since we have developed and released Pufferlib 3.0, and I'd be remiss to not at least mention a couple of the major improvements. One of these is Protein, which is our new hyperparameter sweep algorithm. We've run tens of thousands of experiments using it. It's really just been a great tool for making sure that we're not ever bottlenecking on hyperparameters being bad anymore. And using that, we made some general purpose enhancements to PPO that seem to work quite well. We've tested them across all of our environments. They've done well pretty well out of the box on new environments that we didn't include during the development of the algorithm at all. And I encourage you to take a look at coverage of both of these in less formal form uh, on these X articles here. Finally, I'd like to mention a little bit about the structure of the project. Puffer AI is a private reinforcement learning lab, but all of our tools are free and open source. That is for academic as well as commercial use. You might expect that Getting this level of speed would come with a lot of complexity cost. In fact, there are many libraries that have just that trade-off, but in our case, it really doesn't. Pufferlib is simpler than just about everything out there except for CleanRL, maybe. We have a single file, roughly 1,000-line trainer, and the core is only a couple thousand lines total. Really, the vast majority of the code at this point is in all the new environments that we're developing and using for testing. Additionally, when I started this project, it was really just meant to push the cutting edge, to push RL to more complex problems. But uh, ironically, by making everything so much faster and having to simplify so that this would work, we've actually lowered the barrier to entry to the field dramatically as well, to the point that now we have dozens or even sometimes hundreds of new people joining the Discord every single month and building new environments, sometimes without AI experience or sometimes even with very minimal programming experience and getting RL to actually work on their new environments. And some of these are useful, directly useful to our own research as well. And it's really just been a great way to get a whole bunch of additional people into the field, as well as to crowdsource a lot of the environment development that's required to continue making progress. So if any of this is interesting to you, check out Puffer.ai, check out these various other places, and puff up your reinforcement learning. Thank you.